Our assignment multiplicity will require you to take the same scene with your camera not moving. Okay, the reason is we want to have you or your person be the thing that is changed, the only thing that is changing in the scene. So your person could be sitting, standing, but always in a different spot. Okay because you're trying to make multiple copies of that person without moving anything else so if you've downloaded the pictures that i've provided this is how you're going to follow along and do it so from file go to open you're going to most likely your downloads folder where the files are and here in this case, I have three pictures. We'll start with something simple. I have three pictures of Christian. So let's place this first picture and choose open. Next, you're going to go to file and choose open and place. Choose open and place. You're going to select the second picture this one and hit open next you should see the second picture on top of there so before you proceed I would go over to the opacity and change lower it from a hundred percent to maybe about 50 the reason is I want to make sure that this is lined up properly I don't want to see too many images uh, I, I want to make sure that all the lines are lined up and that's what I want and I think that looks pretty good so I will move this back to 100% and then I'll place the next picture go to file open and place this time we're gonna select this the third picture this we're gonna select the, the one on the left and then hit open Again, I'm going to lower the opacity on the top layer, which is this one, to about 50%, so I can take a look. From here, I can see that the, li it, the image lines up pretty good. The chair looks like it's moving, but that's understandable because when he got off the chair and it's a swivel chair, it moved a little bit so let's return so that's acceptable so let's move the slider back to 100 percent next you're going to select the top picture and then add the layer mask the la this one one two three four the fourth icon from the bottom add that then click on the second layer do the same thing and then click on the background layer add a raster mask finally you're going to go back up to the topmost layer mask and you're going to come over to the brush tool make sure that the, the black make sure that you've set the foreground color to black this is the foreground color and it is set to black okay if it's not black just click on the two the double air the double arrows on the on this um, left bottom left and it will switch the background layer from black to white and back and forth. Go up to the brush tool and choose a brush that is choose a brush that is not 100%. That's too hard. Probably about 60% and then maybe a brush about about 50% like that. Okay. Then make sure you select the that white layer mask and paint over this person here you see how when you paint over him he'll disappear don't worry if that chair appears we'll just we'll just accept that the chair was there and I'm painting over him this is the part where you have to be a little bit careful make sure you don't over paint past where you you want because if you do you're going to introduce a new thing okay once you've painted that, do 
control I to invert the mask. Next, go down to the second layer, click on the white mask, and paint over this version of Christian. I'm going to paint over this version of Christian. It's probably easier if you have a mouse for this. But if you don't, then you know you have to use your trackpad. It's not the best thing, but the mouse is probably easier if you attach if you if you attach a mouse. Okay. With that done, you're gonna do control I and there you go. That's it. That's as simple as that. And here this is an example with only three instances of the person. So if you wanted to shoot more instances of the person, you would shoot more pictures the same, the same scene without moving the the the, the anything. The camera needs to be uh, fixed, and the only thing that changes is that person. Once you have that, you go to File, Export as jpeg but i would i would suggest that before you you throw away the layers you save one version as a psd a photoshop document that way all the layers are intact right here and if they're intact if you have to make some edits to fix it you can do it without having to start all over so next i'm going to go to file after I've saved the version as a PSD, I'm going to choose export as JPEG. So it's going to do it's going to um, download this version. And when it downloads, you will hit save. And when it downloads, it's complete. I'm going to go to show in folder. And where it is is where it's going to show in my in my downloads folder probably. This is where I want you to here you can see the picture it's it's downloaded. There, that's the picture, and I this is where don't forget this is because this is a practice. You don't need to rename it, but when you're doing this for real, you need to rename this file. You need to rename this file when it's for real, when you're using your own pictures, just like in the other assignments.